Hi everyone, my name is Vlad and today I have another lens for a review. This is Meike 28mm f2.8. Fully manual lens with a fixed mount, but it's also available in some other mount options. And you can call this lens a pancake lens because it's quite small and your camera can easily fit in your casual bag or maybe in the pocket. Meike is a Chinese brand which been around for quite a while. They have a good reputation, especially they are well known for their affordable sign glass collection and I wanted to try this lens mostly because uh, of this size and I never had uh, any other lenses from this manufacturer so this is the uh, first one for me. I bought this lens from my own money and I bought it second hand and I think it's quite safe to buy them second hand because uh, they are fully manual and there is not much in them to break. Vintage lenses they might have some fungus or other flaws but with uh, more modern manual lenses, I think it's safer to buy them because they haven't been around for so long, so usually they are quite clean. Also, this lens is not new to the market, so it's uh, quite easy to find a good copy. Let's have a quick look at this lens. This lens, as you can see, is quite small and compact and really lightweight. It's just 29 mm in length and uh, 119 grams without uh, lens caps. It has 49mm filter thread, but the front element is uh, much smaller than this. It has fully metal build and everything is metal as far as you can see and glass obviously. Uh, focus ring is uh, really smooth and uh, provides just enough resistance I think, not too much, not too little. And uh, aperture ring is uh, a bit too soft I would say, but uh, it is smooth. As you can imagine, these uh, rings they are quite small and uh, if you have uh, big fingers you might have uh, some uh, difficulties to change aperture and this aperture it goes from f2.8 till f22 without any clicks. And back to the focusing ring, it has a focus row about 170 degrees and it also marked in meters. Lens mount is uh, fully metal as well. Overall build quality is really nice and as most uh, Chinese manual lenses they are built to last. Let's talk about image quality and let's start with the sharpness. This lens is pretty sharp even wide open and especially in the center, but it's pretty decent in the corners as well. The only thing you need to be aware of is that this lens it does have some distortion and you probably would want to apply some lens correction profile. I apply Canon EF uh, 28 to 300 and I think it's uh, optimal for this one but it's gonna stretch corners of the image and you're gonna lose some details in them. I've actually shot one of my previous videos with this lens and I was pretty happy about image quality and uh, sharpness. This lens has quite noticeable vignetting especially at f2.8 wide open but it gets much better at f4 and uh, completely disappears at f5.6, at least I haven't noticed it on my everyday images. It seems like chromatic aberrations are well controlled, but again as I've mentioned in one of my previous videos, it seems like Fujifilm cameras in general they handle it much better, so it might be a bit different result on other camera systems, keep it in mind. Autofocus area on this lens is quite smooth and can be quite pleasant, it can provide some adequate level of background separation on a medium distance, but this lens is relatively wide angle and it has f2.8 aperture. So background separation and out of focus area, bokeh, it's not really the strongest side of this lens. Talking about usage of this lens, this lens is 28 millimeters, which is about 42 millimeters uh, full frame equivalent. And 40-42 mm in a full frame equivalent is probably one of my favorite focal lengths as 50 mm full frame equivalent can be a bit too tight and 35 mm in full frame equivalent can be a little bit too wide. So 40 is a golden middle ground. Of course this is not a portraiture lens and for the street photography I prefer deeper depth of field so I don't need f2 but I just think that faster lens is more versatile. But then, of course, they wouldn't be able to do it so small. So that is basically your trade-off. As usual, you either go faster lens or smaller lens. Focusing on this lens can be a bit tricky because of the thin focusing ring as well as a relatively wide field of view. Maybe just me, but there have been quite a few times where my fingers would get in the frame after I've been focusing. 
As most wide-angle lenses, this one is pretty good for zone focusing because you can close down your aperture and set your focusing distance for 2-3 meters and almost everything is going to be in focus. Overall, this lens is really good, really good build quality, quite small and compact and light, uh, a bit fiddly uh, focusing and aperture rings. And you need to keep in mind that it uh, has some vignetting and uh, distortion uh, issues. Well, I wouldn't even call them issues. They're present, but it's not a big issue, but as they can be easily corrected in post. I like this lens in overall, but I have a question in my head, and that is how does it compare against 7 Artisan's 25mm f1.8? Because the size difference is just a few millimeters, and uh, 25, 7 25 millimeters, it does have extra stop of light. It's f1.8. This is f2.8, even more than one stop of light. If I'll be able to get my hand on it, I'll make a comparison. Uh, this make it 28 millimeters uh, against uh, 7 Artisan's uh, 25 millimeters f1.8. So that was it. I hope it was helpful. So please like and subscribe. You can also check links in the description. I have my Instagram link there and also uh, you can look at the, my blog post with a review of this lens. There might be some additional images or maybe it's going to be a bit more updated. So thank you and see you later.